you said that you sat for 30 minutes, you want it on your ribs. It's I know. Good. It's the um, most sensitive area. It just hurts. It hurts like a bitch. I'll go ahead and say off the top if we were to put it somewhere like the side of your thigh or something like that. I can't have it on my limbs. OK, you can't have What about your shoulders? No, okay. not shoulders. I could be sent home for this. If we're going to do your side, let's just do it. I'm Today, you must create Egyptian tattoos. Damn. Your canvases today all want ancient Egyptian images characterized by their fine details. In this elimination tattoo, you will be tattooing head to head against two other artists. What? Damn. That means three artists must tattoo the same subject. One artist will win, and two will lose. Let's meet your canvases. Here we go. What are you looking to get done today? King Tut on my arm. Black and gray? Yes. Black and gray, this is what I do. This is my bread and butter right here. I ain't f***ing around. I'm trying to get this. Sphinx is on my left side. Oh, his ribs. The ribs. Thin rib skin is more painful than most places on the body. I definitely don't want that kind of canvas on this kind of a challenge. They don't get that to somebody they don't like. OK, canvases, one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Keto. I'm like that. Where do you want to get it? On his ribs? MV. I'm screwed. Something for the Sphinx, I think, on the side. The ribs are definitely a tough spot. Anytime we put it on the side, it's going to elongate even more. Well, that piece becomes like that. I'm trying to convince my canvas to get it away from his ribs. I want it on my side. I just hope he's able to sit. I'll lay like a rock. I won't move at all. Otherwise, there's a good chance of me going home. <laughs> Doesn't really get easier. You can make that a little more slender in the neck so it's not so. This chick serious is eating up my tattoo time. Like, I don't even think she has any idea what she's doing to me right now. Did you start over? On this? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it cool on the outside, but in the inside right now, I'm bugging. You can't move it, right? It's dead center. Oh, OK. Yep, let's do it. They say you can start now. She costing me an hour of tattooing time, but I'm about to get it popping. What do I do? Black and gray. They say Mark's about to see what I'm capable of. I'm a force to be reckoned with. You're tougher than me, bro, because I wouldn't even attempt it. I've had to fight for every single inch of tattoo that I've put in. He's either moving, shaking, cringing, and it's horrible. I tried to warn you it was going to be a rough area. It's not even about the time. I don't think I'm going to be able to even touch his skin anymore with this needle. I think we would have been done if it was on, like, on another part of the body. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. All right, we are done. Today, you had to create intricately detailed Egyptian tattoos. Keto. You really tried to execute detail. You just lose it in a couple of places, the nose being one. The way that you shaded it looks like a double nostril. But for me, buddy, this background is wild. Well, my canvas is pretty much her pick. There's a million ways to skin this thing, and this is I not did. any I... of those million. MV. Well, I am glad you followed Marissa, because otherwise I'm not exactly sure if I would know what this is. A sphinx, by definition, is a lion with a human head, sometimes depicted with wings. I just don't think it looks like a sphinx to me. That body looks more like a seal, or a sea lion, or a walrus. It doesn't look like a lion. In a detail challenge, you have no deliberate detail throughout this tattoo. If you didn't nail this, which I don't think you did, you put yourself in a situation that's tough. Today, you must find a unique way to use your canvas's anatomy to make your tattoo come to life. What? What does that mean? From armpits to belly buttons to a fist or a foot, you must work with the shape and movement of that body part to create an illusion. Like, seriously? Ingenuity is really important to create this illusion because you need that body part to be a part of your tattoo. It takes tattooing to a whole nother level. Let's meet your canvases. What do you want to get? I want to get a mermaid on the left side of my head. A wolf's mouth in my armpit. There's some glands. The armpit is a very sensitive area, and people don't sit very well. So whoever gets armpits, they're going to have a tough time. Canvases, one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Which one was that? Wolf in the armpit. Please, God, don't let it be me. 
Earl. Duffy. I'm going up against my master in this competition. I definitely got the shit into this skull pick. I really didn't like the show. There's not much elements besides the scales on her face that are gonna make her look like a mermaid. I just know my pain tolerance, and I just want you to be able to have a finished piece. Whether I do a hand or a hand with a shell on it, it's gonna be about the same amount of time. I have to show ingenuity with this tattoo. If I start taking details out, it might make no sense. I'm going head to head with my mentor, Cruzman. I really, really just need to win an elimination challenge. Are you open to artist interpretation? I like to stick to the wolves, really. I got dished the <laughs> canvas possible. It's a wolf in the armpit, and this is not going to translate well. It's going to hurt. I know, but this is going to be my second tattoo. You're definitely going to earn this tattoo. I'm hating life. I really don't want to do this tattoo. It sucks. Ow, 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 ow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please hold on. Hold on. My canvas is being sissy. It's making me stop every two seconds. Uh, hold on, hold on again. I'm going into freak out mode. I suffer from bipolar disorder, and sometimes my emotions get in the way. I'm beyond furious at this point. I just want to finish the tattoo. I know. Ready to rock and roll? <sighs> if he doesn't make it through this, <laughs> he's basically sending me home. <laughs> <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up, no more ink. Today, you had to use ingenuity to come up with a clever way to transform your canvas's body part. Earl. This thing is ugly, bro. This was a living nightmare. By 10 minutes in, he was crying. This tattoo is riddled with weird choices. On the side of the nose, there's those two divots that almost look like that may be where his eyes would be. That's literally off the picture. Just because your reference was a real photo doesn't mean that the tattoo is real looking. You made this look like his eyes yeah, dude, one are on his upper lip. It's crazy. Duffy, you went head to head with Cruzman. As far as placement goes, you certainly used your hairline to create hair, and you hit the challenge there. I don't like this one. Her eyes are incredibly far apart. That line that you put off of the lip really pushes her out to have a duck bill. This is definitely my least favorite tattoo I've seen you do. I didn't think it was that rough. Today, you must tattoo a Japanese koi fish. <gasps> In front of Chris Nunez. Koi fish rely on clean, solid lines to make them strong, readable images. There's even more. Oh, man. Stop it, man. For your tattoo, you must all use the same koi fish. What? Mike has created the outline of the fish, but it's up to you to add the scales, details, and background, making the tattoo come to life on the skin. Let's meet your canvases. I want a colorful koi fish on my left side of the ribs. She just said koi fish. Mm -hmm. What would you like in your background? Flowers. Finger waves? No finger waves. No water. This chick definitely has the potential to be a nightmare. Whoever gets this canvas is screwed. Canvases, one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. She doesn't want water. Keto. Damn. I know I'm in trouble. Oh my god, stop, 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 stop. No, 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 no. Bam. It'll make me feel better. We ain't got a whole lot of time, so I gotta get on it. Oh my god. My poor back. I'm not happy with it. It looks like pee. Like the fish is pee. What kind of is that? This bitch is crazy. Like, I can't figure out how to please her. You're telling me that that doesn't look like a puddle right now? It's a water splash. Looks like my niece drew it. Well, don't, don't insult me, man. I have to live with this, and you're not paying for my removal. I'm going to fix it. Now, they made it this far, and I've been having all these nutty-ass canvases all this time. She's by far the worst. Now, take a look at that. This is BS right now. Like, I hit. He's too orange, though. And that's the blood leaking through the yellow. You and I are not even on the same page right now. Ain't nobody ever been unpleased with something I did ever my whole life till now. This is plain ignorance. That looks like a pumpkin and, and pit. But it, I told you, your skin irritated so. I'm trying to be nice, and I'm just going to flip your table over. This is on my back. I'm trying to, like, 
talk to you so we can work together. She told me to stop. I'm, I was trying to say, at least let me finish what I started. Your job is to work with me here. It's just gonna make me flip out, you know what I mean? You gonna have him continue or you gonna have him stop? I want him to continue. This is embarrassing. I don't wanna go home for this. I cannot let this defeat me. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, time's up. No more ink. What about the other flower? What happened? I'm just trying to finish it. Today, you had to tattoo head to head with our guest judge, Keto. I know you had a struggle, but man, every centimeter of this tattoo shows that struggle. This line of work is this poor. She was kicking her feet. Every stroke on that tattoo, she was moving. The drawing is one of the worst layouts of the day. The shape of the water, totally strange. That top lotus flower looks like an artichoke. There's no redeeming qualities to this tattoo whatsoever. Today, you must tattoo a famous work of art. <sighs> Some of these will be really hard. Your canvases today all want a world-renowned painting permanently tattooed on their skin. From Starry Night to The Birth of Venus to The Scream, these paintings are some of the most recognizable in the world. Fine art paintings have hundreds of hours worth of layering of paint. Replicating that into a tattoo is a nightmare. You must perfectly replicate your painting down to the brush stroke, using consistency to capture the details and its overall essence. Let's meet your canvases. What do you want to get done today? Birth of Venus by Botticelli. Woo! That's a whole lot of stuff going on. Oh, Lord. Same thing, Birth of Venus, huh? Yes, yeah, so on my upper back. Yeah. What about you? Water Lilies by Monet. Same thing, Water Lilies. Where do you want yours? On my rib cage. On your rib cage. Jesus. How long have you sat? About a half hour. A half of an hour. <laughs> Please do not give me her. Canvases, one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Okay, now it's just lost in the cold. With the dark skin and color, the very pale lady in that painting, how do you translate that? Matt. Wow. Katie. Tyler gives me and Duffy the most difficult painting to translate into a tattoo. He's definitely out to send the girls home. Hi. Come on, let's go talk. Having to replicate any particular piece of art always shows consistency because you have the actual product and you have your replication. There's no room for self-interpretation. I've been the very top of this competition the whole time, so we gotta kill it. This is gonna be a really big battle. Tyler puts me head to head with Chris because he thinks he's gonna be able to take me out of this competition. You, Tyler. We're dealing with a very pale figure, and yeah. that's something that we'll be contending with just with your skin tone. Yeah. No big deal. Definitely don't stress about that part. Right. If they think that they're gonna get me out of this competition, they've definitely got a big surprise coming. You said that you sat for 30 minutes, you wanted it on your ribs. It's I know. Good. It's the um, most sensitive area. It just hurts. It hurts like a bitch. Tyler is gunning for me in order to get to Matt. I'll go ahead and say off the top if we were to put it somewhere like the side of your thigh or something like that. I can't have it on my limbs. OK, you can't have What about your shoulders? No, okay. not shoulders. I could be sent home for this. If we're going to do your side, let's just do it. I'm Water Lilies by Monet is by far the most difficult because there's so much layering happening in the painting. <sighs> <laughs> this is the battle that I've been looking for to go head to head with Chris, but I'm at a complete disadvantage. <laughs> this canvas is screaming and she's kicking her feet like a two year old. I can't put a straight solid lot on this girl. Just because you got some sweat and stuff going on, it caused the face to just smear away. Once the stencil's gone, trying to line up a new stencil on top is next to impossible. I'm just hoping that we can get enough of the Venus in there so I have something to turn in today. Jump back down there. Oh, my God. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. Here's that for you. Holy You did a wonderful job. You like her? I love her. Cool. Cool? Like it? Love it. Chris had a hard time with this, but Matt's tattoo has the most busted face I've ever seen in my life. He did Ronald McDonald standing in a seashell that's not even finished. 
Today, you had to replicate a fine work of art. Each of you tattooed head to head with another artist, and we will directly compare your work. Matt, tell me what happened here with your tattoo. 30 minutes in, she was a moving target. Were you able to finish what you intended to do here today? No. Doing so much, it took away a lot of time for you to be able to cherry one thing out. If I'd have had any hint from this girl that she would have done as bad as she did, I would have definitely tried to get her to do just the Venus figure on the shelf. Biggest problem for me is the face. It looks like Wilma Flintstone, and that's the most crucial part of that figure in a way. If there's one thing you're gonna get right, that would be the thing to get right. Katie, you went head to head with Duffy. I'm familiar with this painting, and I'm not entirely sure if I would know what this is if I was standing next to her. Felt like it was very difficult to translate into a tattoo. Your colors are completely different than the colors in the painting. In the painting, there's some really bright, vivid areas of green with a really high contrast. You made those areas really forest hunter green, so it changes the painting itself. You've got one of the harder paintings to reproduce and one of the hardest parts of the body. Definitely shows there's a struggle here. It's a rough one. Today, the power is in the hands of your canvases. Not only must you tattoo the design of your canvases choice, your canvases will pick which artist they want to tattoo them. You will have a five minute interview with each of the canvases. Head to your shops for your interviews. How you doing, Duffy? How are you? <laughs> That's good. Everything good? Hell yeah, bro. Today, these artists have to try to sell themselves, not only to what their strengths are, but sell themselves away from their weaknesses if they're smart. Could do like a cross with rosary beads. Yeah, so I like that. I wanted the Detroit theme like in the rips. Some buildings off of the skyline, the area code, the letters from my high school. There are a ton of elements here. I'm trying to think of a way to put these other objects in there without them like looking really randomly placed. And on the ribs? No thanks. One by one, please choose a skull to determine the picking order. Alan. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go with Duffy. 10 pounds of crap in a five pound bag. Definitely isn't my top choice. Keith got number five. You are with Craig. This sucks. My canvas has a lot of ideas. We have a limited amount of time to finish this tattoo, so he needs to make a decision. So I'm thinking maybe, you know, six or seven symbols. I want to kind of keep them thick. And this way it gets tricky. I'm trying to keep it few so they'd be more visible. My canvas has a mixture of ideas. If we had the symbols, like, carved in. I'm just trying to think. Do we still want to do the water coming out of it? I mean, I don't have to do the water, but I do I do want to cover the whole arm. The longer that I talk to my canvas, the more confusing it is. And just, I mean, if we would have like one, two, three, four, five. If I can't get my canvas to change their mind, I might as well pack my bags. Which ones do you like? Um, I think it looks dope. You dig it? Just how we left it, I'm more compelled to stick with the, the simple symbol. I feel like you'll be happy with it. With the symbols, how are we going to? I just, I just want to do the one. And I am totally running out of time. I'm just asking, almost begging, to just let me do a tattoo today. So you wouldn't be open to do all of them, just that one? I'd like to just do this one so I can just really focus on it and make it look really nice. You feel me, though? No. Yeah. It's not like this one's going to get me a win, but at least I get to do a tattoo. How are we going to make it look like it's uh, razor edge? Like it's cut, cut into, into the, the skin. Yeah. Kind of shadow it, like somebody punched it into your skin? Yeah. All right. You don't think you can choose more symbols will still look good? I'm just asking the question. I just like want to keep it simple. Sometimes simplicity right. is best. It is always best, man. Come towards me a little bit more. Alan Robinson wanted everything that makes him think of Detroit in one tattoo. I talked him down to just getting the Detroit city skyline, a D for Detroit, and an area code. Even though I made this design a lot smaller, there's still a lot going on. I know it probably sucks for the most part, but suck it up even if you are hurting. He keeps jumping up and looking in the mirror every five minutes. Every time he jumps up, it slows me down. If this tattoo isn't finished, I could go home for it. One hour remaining. That's kind of cool. Craig picking up that canvas that was just unsure really showed how bad it rattled him. I'm not mad at all that Craig's having a bad day. What'd you think, boss? Everything works out the way it's supposed to work out. No doubt, no doubt.
I totally own up to what I did. Everybody given a dark canvas, there is a higher risk of somebody not doing a really good job. So this would probably be the best time to play it safe. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it, time's up, machine's down. No more ink. Today, you had to show perfect technical application by tattooing a professional football player with the design of his choice. Duffy. Overall, the tattoo's readability and legibility is where you really fall short. Your 313, the top of the farthest three, fits right into the skin rip, you lose it. Your areas of skin that come over the top of the D itself, again, you lose it. Well, my plan was to leave the sky pretty heavy dark so that D would stand out, but once I just realized he wasn't gonna sit for all that solid, I have just you ever, that Have plan. you ever sat for four or five hours on your ribs? Not on my ribs. It's an experience. Being a football player, I thought that he would definitely push through. You have to be able to give yourself an out when you're doing these designs because you've now camouflaged the entire piece. Craig. Let me just get a read on exactly what I think I'm seeing here. It's a stone surface, and the symbol is recessed into the stone. Correct. Artistically, you have a lot of tricks. You did capture a lot of great tones in this to really make this thing have depth. But I get into this thing from a technical aspect. It's pretty rough. It's pretty sketchy. Even the background gray area looks like you colored it in with a Sharpie that's running out of ink. It's not that you did a horrible tattoo. You're just not beating them. You could hit home runs, and you're just not doing it.